mine. The door was open, so I let myself in. Were you trying to get this? No. I, I was just messing around. Messing around? Messing around, he says? He's got three deadlines hanging over his head and he's messing around? You had better pull yourself together, mister. You are treading on thin ice. I have not been impressed with your work of late, and if I don't see some sort of improvement soon, there's going to be all kinds of trouble. These kinds of jobs don't grow on trees, you know, Bane. There are a lot of talented people out there that would kill to be in your shoes. You've had it pretty easy in the past, and I'll tell you, it has hurt you. The problem with you is you are not a dedicated worker. I need an ashtray. Oh, I don't, I don't have one. Fine, I'll use this. It is very important that you become a dedicated worker, Thane. Your future at Shangri-La Books depends on it. You've got to think about this, Thane. Your future is at stake. I'll tell you. Marvin is not going to like this. No, Marvin wouldn't care about any of this, and Marvin wouldn't have broken into my house. Uh, unless unless the, the door were open, then he, he might have let himself in. I mean, who wouldn't, right? I can't stand it. I, I can't stand it. I'm a weasel. Just tell her off. Why can't I just tell her off? I'll lose my job. I don't want to lose my job. This is a nightmare. See, now, I'm just gonna sit there and never bring up the fact that she's a horrible person, no matter what she says. I don't believe this. I wish I were dead. So, let me tell you, I am so tired of all the inept people at the office. All I'm surrounded by is ineptness. Now, don't get me wrong, Thane, you are not totally inept. Of course, you do need a lot of work, but who doesn't? It's all upbringing. I'm one of the lucky ones. Take minorities, for instance. They're not inferior because they're genetically different. They're inferior because of upbringing. How do you listen to a statement like that and just sit there? Oh, man, I'm a wreck. I can't deal with it. What am I saying? What am I saying? How important is a job you have to sacrifice your integrity. I won't have it. I won't have it. Wait a second. Now just wait a second. You're wrong. You're racist and you're wrong. And, I, and I'm sorry, if you want to get me fired because I don't agree with your prejudicial statements, fine. But what you said was wrong. That sounded pretty good. I'll try that. For instance, I was watching one of these freedom rallies on the news, some other backwards country, I'm not sure which one, and I started thinking, how horrible freedom can be. Our country could learn something from this. The only people making the decisions should be those few that are mentally capable. You can't give the general public a say in what goes on. They're unable to render an intelligent decision. There are very few smart enough and wise enough to be making those decisions. And you can usually assess a person's worth by their income. See, I think you should only be allowed to vote if you make over, say, 200,000 a year. It's just plain common sense, don't you agree, Thane? Thane? Don't you agree? Well... Yeah. Ah! I don't believe it! How can I agree with her? There's no excuse! I should be killed! I should be skinned alive and then rolled around in salt! Now, about your work. As of late, I've been very unimpressed. You seem bent on these unconventional tactics that, frankly, I think stink. I came to pick up your new book you've been so secretive about. Is it finished? It, yeah, it, it is finished. It's, it's right in front of you. What was it doing behind the couch? It's a long story. 
Bye bye, Grandma. It's a working title. I'm also thinking of what happened to Grandma. Bye bye, Grandma. It's cute. I like it. But, but the, the great, great thing is, it's a pop up book. We don't do pop ups. Something new. Yes. not nice death rarely is death? what are you writing about death for these are children's books death is the last thing on their minds why can't you write about bunnies or something i don't want to write about bunnies look at murray craig please don't bring up murray craig murray craig is our top writer i know murray craig is the top writer i know murray craig makes a lot of money but murray craig has the mind of an ostrich his books He's uncreative. He is not uncreative. He's the inventor of Happy the Clam. Please, please don't bring up Happy the Clam. Happy the Clam is and has been for the past 10 years our number one marketable figure. Everyone loves Happy the Clam. Children love Happy the Clam. Parents love Happy the Clam. My husband and I both love Happy the Clam. It's a stupid concept. It is not a stupid concept. It's a clam. A clam. Could you possibly pick a more distant, non-feeling, totally unemotional thing? I mean, they have no distinguishable features, absolutely no measurable intelligence. They're disgusting, squishy. I mean, look at this. Look at it. There's legs sticking out of the shell. It's sideways. And of course, a hat. A clam with a hat. Oh, look, honey. The clams have come over for dinner. Hello, Mr. Clam. Would you like me to take your hat? Happy the Clam is a mindless creation. There is nothing appealing about him. There is nothing redeeming about him. He represents everything I hate in life. I hate him. I always have hated him. I always will hate him. I hate Happy the Clam. I will not sit here and listen to you badmouth Happy the Clam. If you are looking to lose your job, mister, you are on the right track. This company was founded 12 years ago, and thanks to Murray's creation of Happy the Clam for the past 10 years has been showing a sizable profit. So you may not like Happy the Clam, but Happy the Clam pays the bills. And whether you like it or not, if it weren't for Happy the Clam, you wouldn't have a job! Maybe, maybe I was a little rash. I have, to, I have to apologize. I, I did forget one key use for Happy the Clam. I forgot that Happy the Clam could be rolled up into a little ball and shoved up your butt. That's what I forgot, silly me. And as far as the company being here for 12 years, how would you know? You've only been screwing things up for two. And now let's analyze how she got the job. Did she graduate from college? Uh, did she study her craft for long hours? Uh, well, then surely she inherited the business from her father. Uh, 